Okay, today... Hello, we're... Earthlings. <laughs> today what we... And mine is really about Earthlings. Okay, let me explain first. Today what we are doing is crazy fun facts. So when he says his is about Earthlings, um, I gave him the assignment And you'll to, see why. <laughs> ...to find 10 fun facts, crazy fun facts. And then I had to do uh, 10 fun facts. Well, mine are not fun. Mine are amazing. Amazing? Okay. Yes, mine are not fun. I, I, fun stuff. Mine are amazing facts. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he's, a, he's a science geek. Exactly. Okay. All right. So, we are going to take turns reading fun, crazy facts, and then we'll just decide which we like best. Okay? All okay. right. Okay, do you want to go first? Yeah. Okay. Okay. There, 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 okay. there are probably more, more than 170 billion galaxies in our observable universe. And what is a galaxy? A galaxy is, is what makes up our planet is in the Milky Way galaxy. Our sun is one of the stars. On the galaxy, a, a galaxy is a mass of stars and of planets, and our planet is one of the tiny planets in one galaxy called the Milky Way galaxy. And there's a hundred and seventy billion, not million, boys and girls say billion, billion. galaxies on in our universe, and you're going to understand more about what galaxies are. That's an amazing fact. Wow. That is. Okay, so... Mine are science. Mine are not fun. <laughs> Mine? <laughs> we, go from, we go from ge ginormous <laughs> to, to puny. Good, good. Okay, mine is snails have 14,000 teeth. Wow, I did not know that. <laughs> and some can even kill you. How can okay. they go to the dentist? <laughs> Imagine, 14,000 teeth. A snail dentist. Okay, so <laughs> next? Okay, now. Okay. Now imagine, boys and girls, I just finished saying there's 170 billion galaxies, and a galaxy is a mass of stars and planets, and we're just, our sun is one star, and our planet is one of the many millions of planets in the Milky Way galaxy. Yeah. Now, in our galaxy, which is called the Milky Way galaxy, there's 400 billion stars. So that's your next fact? Yes, and the Sun is one of those 400 billion stars yeah. in our galaxy. Wow. This really makes you... Feel small. No, no, and it makes you really say God is amazing. Okay, it is. Okay, and God amazingly has made tiny things very, very unusual Okay, too. I really like this. Okay. It's a, it's Mine a great video. Is Daddy long legs have penises, which technically Here makes them, which technically makes them not a spider. <laughs> she had to bring that in. Oh well. Okay. 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 Next. Okay. Getting back to my scientific <laughs> and more and more interesting facts. Okay. Okay. So now we know there's a hundred. Now we see how each of our minds work. <laughs> yeah. okay. Now we know that there's a hundred and seventy billion galaxies in our universe. We're one of the 170 billion galaxies, and there's 400 billion stars in our one galaxy. Yeah. 400 billion stars. Okay. Number three fact. The Milky Way is approximately 100,000 light years wide. Now, I'm going to explain to you what a light year is. Okay. Light travels at 186,000 miles per second. 186,000 okay. miles a second. Okay. So every single year, the distance of one light year is 6 trillion miles. Okay. If light was to travel for one year, right. it would travel for 6 trillion miles. So what's your fact? The Milky Way is 100,000. Our Milky Way is 100,000 light years wide. So that's so, so that's six trillion miles. It's times, too much for my brain. Well, you got some very smart viewers there. Yeah. Okay. You got a hundred thousand. You got six trillion miles times a hundred thousand light years. That's the size of our one galaxy. Wow. It's massive. 
Wow. Mass. Okay. And we're one of the we we are one of the planets in it. Okay. Now, my little fun fact. Oh god, here we go again. <laughs> Are you guys bored? Female with my stuff or not? Female kangaroos have three vaginas or vajayjays. Okay. Boys and girls, <laughs> boys and girls, look at me. Now you see where her mind is Opposites going to. Opposites attract. <laughs> okay. You see where her mind is going to right now. <laughs> okay. Next. Okay. So just think, our Milky Way, our one galaxy, is a hundred thousand miles light years. 100,000 light years. That's light travels at. Don't. Just try to figure it out. Light travels at 6 trillion miles a year times 100,000 of those years equals the size of our galaxy. Yes, you already did that one. Now, but the biggest galaxy, ours is just a medium sized galaxy. The biggest galaxy of, of the 170 billion galaxies that there are. Is 30 times bigger than our galaxy. 30 times? Bigger than our galaxy. It's it, where ours takes 100,000 light years to travel. This one takes 5.8 million light years to travel. Okay. And where our galaxy has 400 billion stars, this one has 100 trillion stars. Wow. And imagine that there's 170 billion galaxies just like these galaxies. Okay. God is huge. Yeah, okay. That I can agree on. All of this is very good. It somehow goes over my well, head, but I know it's hard to compute. I know that you got, very, very good. I know that you got some science kids <clears throat> okay. out there that are, are going to appreciate that. Okay, my little fact is... It cost the U.S. Mint almost twice as much to mint each penny and nickel as the coins are actually worth. What a waste of money. So taxpayers lost over $100 million in 2013 oh, just through the coins being made. Oh, boy. Oh, well. Okay, next. What can you do? Now, boys and girls, now check this out. In our one galaxy that is called the Milky Way galaxy, and Mary is very, very fascinated by this, I can tell. There's five of the of the of of all the okay of the many planets. You know, you're covering your face. All these stars. Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm just gonna make it simple. In our one galaxy. Mm -hmm. There could be there's five hundred million planets that could have life. Really? That's why I believe when it comes to UFOs. Think of us, boys and girls. In our one measly Milky Way galaxy, there's five hundred million planets that could have life Man. because they got the same atmosphere as the Earth. Now imagine. There's 170 billion of these galaxies with millions of planets just like the Earth. Okay, you're probably right. What makes, you th what makes us think that we're the only people in all this universe that has life? So I'm saying that this is why I think that there are aliens out there. Okay, okay. <laughs> probably are. Oh well. Yeah, okay, good. Okay, mine, oh, mine kind of goes with his now. My next one, number five. It says here, light doesn't necessarily travel at the speed of light. Okay. The slowest we've ever recorded light moving is 38 miles per hour. That's very slow. Why? I don't know. Is it going through water? It must be I going through know. water because, because light goes at 186,000 miles a second. I don't know. Wow, it must be, a, it must be going through a very... A dense liquid or or like something like that. Okay. 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 See, he's such a scientist, isn't he? Okay. Imagine our sun. Is this your next fact? Yeah. All right. Our sun, which is now we know that our galaxy is named the Milky Way galaxy, right, boys and girls? Okay. It takes our sun, which is one of the stars. We have our sun is a star, and it's got nine planets circling. Well, there's controversy about that. Okay, okay just, just to make it simple. <laughs> Our sun is one star, and then 
it's got something called a solar system, which is the nine planets that rotate around the sun. There is Mercury, Venus, which we are going to talk about mean Venus, Earth, Mars, which we're going to talk about Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. That's our solar system made of one star called the sun. Yeah, yeah. Okay? I know that you're... This is what I really like. I know, I know. Good. I No, no, very good. Go on. I spent, a, I spent like an hour on this today. Very, very okay. good. All right. So imagine our sun is... Our sun is also... Our sun and we are rotating around the Milky Way galaxy too. Every single year? Mm -hmm. No, every single... You know how many how many years it takes for our solar system, us to rotate around the Milky Way, two hundred and twenty-five million years. Oh, wow! And and th that is just one of the hundred and seventy billion galaxies out there. Wow! Oh, so that was your fact? Yeah. Oh. Our solar system takes we the Earth takes two hundred twenty-five million years to circle. Around and it is all interesting. It's just too big for my mind to compute. You know, but I think you got some science yeah, geeks. Yeah, I know. Probably. All the science geeks right there, raise your hands right now. <laughs> okay, my next one goes with yours too. I didn't know he was going to be doing this stuff. Okay, my next one, number six, is on Jupiter and Saturn. Mm -hmm. They say it probably rains diamonds. I've heard about that. I don't know why. No, I, I read that there is a, a planet... That that is probably made out of diamonds. That made out of diamonds. Yeah, it's I I just read it right now. It's probably graphite and like diamonds. Yeah. Oh, wait. It says it rains diamonds. Well, all right. We should okay. move. Okay, your turn. We should move there. Okay, boys and girls. Imagine a big star like the sun. The sun is much 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 bigger than the Earth, right? Am I right? Okay. Imagine if the star suddenly died. If these if a planet, if the sun would suddenly die and, you know, it would collapse mm -hmm. into itself. That's a black hole, right? Well, oh. kind of, yeah. But okay. it would collapse. So imagine, it still has all the weight of the sun, but now it's, it's collapsed. And that, and, and so, so, okay, so that is a neutron star. It's called a neutron star. Okay. Take something like the sun. And collapse into a very small area called a neutral star. If you take a spoonful of what's in the neutron star, it would wait. I don't know which of the stars it is, but one neutron star. Take a spoon. I thought it was all gas. No, but when you collapse all this stuff, it's like taking, it's like taking, it's like taking like a whole city and and making it into So it would end up being a solid. Yeah, making it in, Taking a whole city like New York City and make and squeezing it and making it make it into a box, mm -hmm. squeezing it. Okay. One spoonful of mass from a neutron star would weight a billion tons. What do you think about that? Wow. A billion tons. You take one spoonful. A billion <laughs> tons. A billion tons. Okay, very interesting. Okay, now my next fact, number seven. Yeah. Okay. All right, John Tyler, who is the 10th president of the United States. John Tyler College. Well, yeah, well. That's where Hannah went to. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, John Tyler was the 10th president of the United States, was born in 1790. As of March 6, 2018, just a month ago, his grandson, Harrison Ruffin Tyler, was 89 and still alive. The grandson of somebody who was born in 1790 is still alive. What? Today? Yeah. The grandson born in 17... Uh, the grandson oh, is so 89. I, yeah. John Tyler was born in 1790. Yeah. And in... He, as of March 2018, his grandson was 89. Okay. It's the truth. So? So? Big deal. <laughs> so, okay. So you see, nine years of age. 
Okay, I know, but I'm saying that his grandfather was born in 1790. Oh, okay. All right, that's exciting. Okay, go on. I'm really excited about that. All right. Okay. <laughs> Mount Everest is our biggest mountain, right? Okay, so we're not in space anymore. We're oh, on we, our planet. No, we okay. no, we're all talk, we're we're still talking about space. Okay. Yeah. All these questions are about okay. one of my favorite subjects, which is space. Okay, you just covered your face. Okay, go on. Sorry. The biggest mountain on Earth is what? Mount Everest. Okay. The biggest mountain in our solar system, in my solar system, I mean, our sun and the ninth planets that make it is called a solar system. Yes, we know. Okay. The biggest mountain is not on Earth. It's on Mars. Mm -hmm. And it's three times higher than what Mount Everest is. Three times. Whereas Mount Everest is 29,000 feet, this is probably about... 90,000 feet high. Whoopsie doo! <laughs> 90,000 feet, boys and girls. You would definitely need to have an oxygen tank there. Okay. <laughs> Next. My wife's mind is not intellectual like this. She likes to talk about snails and all that weird stuff. I have the big mind here. And I know many viewers have a big mind too. <laughs> okay. Number eight is a strawberry is not a berry, but a banana is a berry. No. Yes. How can that be? The definition of a berry is that it is derived from a single flower with one ovary, and they typically have several seeds. Oh, I did not know that. Now, isn't it, what is the thing that, what is the thing as a vegetable? Like a tomato. Oh. No, a tomato, no, is, a tomato fruit. is a fruit, yes. Tomato is a fruit. Yeah, and so is a... And banana is a and berry. A banana is a berry. Okay. Right. Next. That's a good one. Okay. The one up. Okay. <laughs> the one about the grandson. That was really boring. <laughs> okay. Okay. Go on. Now listen, boys and girls. One year on Venus is 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 shorter than one day on Venus. Oh, it's shorter than one day on the Earth. No, nope. one day on Venus is shorter than one day. One. Year in Venus is shorter than its day. Well, uh, that doesn't make. Yes, what it do you is. Mean? Oh, because they, because uh, it going around the sun. A year is when you go around the sun. No, no. 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 Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> well, yeah, it's because you know why? Why it is that one day is shorter why? than one year? Because it's the slowest. Orbiting, oh, okay. it re it revolves on its axis so slowly, so slowly that the time that it takes it to go around the sun is less than what it takes it to go around itself. Okay, that's a, okay, that's, that's a incredible pretty, thing. Yeah. Okay, and okay, it, I got another one. <clears throat> okay, and I got one more to go. This but one. this one, I'm going to disprove. This okay. this it. They say that it's impossible to hum while holding your nose. But I tried it and I could do it. Okay. I can do it. Oh, I just had something come out. <laughs> okay. That's baby stuff. <laughs> so that isn't true. That's okay. not true. That's a lie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and my final one, you guys will really like this. I say that like the easiest for the last. Okay. Who who here needs to lose weight? I no, I'd no, like no, to no, lose no. a couple lose a couple pounds. If I don't he, who who there's our viewers who are gonna say I really want to lose weight. Well boys and girls go to Mercury. No. Go to Mars. Why? Because if because Mars is so much smaller than Earth. If you boys and girls if you weigh a hundred pounds on the earth and you take a scale and you weigh yourself on Mars, you will weigh 38 pounds. If you weigh how much here? 100, 100 pounds. Oh. So if you are overweight and you want to feel great about yourself. <laughs> go to Mars. Go to Mars and you'll weigh, you'll, you'll weigh two-thirds less than what you weigh on Earth. Now, if you are very underweight and you tried all the shakes in the world, and, and, yeah, and Whoppers, and 
uh, 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 milkshakes and you still can't gain weight. Well, then, you know what you go to? Uh, uh, go to Jupiter. Because you gain a lot of weight there. Because if you go to Jupiter and if you, wear a, if you weigh 100 pounds here on Earth and you go to Jupiter, automatically you weigh 236 pounds. So if you're very underweight, take a rocket to <laughs> Jupiter. Okay? So Elon Musk, go to see my buddy, and then rent a rocket ship and go to Jupiter and just weigh yourself and you would have gained a lot of weight. Okay, now my last one is... This is pretty cool. <clears throat> in New York, a woman named Penny Brown saved a seven-year-old Kevin Stevens' life, giving him CPR after he was hit in the chest with a baseball bat. Years later, about, I don't know how many years later, but he was a teenager, that same boy saved her from choking to death, giving her the Heimlich maneuver in a restaurant that he worked. Wow. Isn't that nice? That's very, very good. Okay, nice. now you pick which you like, which one you like best of mine, and I'll pick which one I like best of yours. Definitely, definitely, like, definitely not the John Tyler, and definitely not the snails, and definitely not, definitely not the Daddy Long, Long Legs. <laughs> That's not even beat, and definitely not the kangaroos. <laughs> I think I like the word about the U.S. Mint. Man, that's incredible. It costs a U.S. Mint almost twice as much to mint each penny and nickel as the coins are actually worth. Taxpayers lost over a hundred million dollars in 2013 just enough, just through the just through the coins being made. Oh boy. I think the one I like best of yours is one year on Venus is shorter than its day. So. I thought that you would like just the one about the weight. No. But the weight gain and, uh, and, and, and all the weight loss. So, was that fun? It was fun. It was fun. Thank you, boys and girls, for... Thank you for tuning in tonight. <laughs> See you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.